How can you make sure that nobody is taking your stapler or claiming your pencil cup? Well, it's real easy. If you've got a scan and cut and a couple minutes, you can customize just about anything for the dorm room and beyond. Hi there, May Flom here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick tutorial and show you how easy it is to customize your desk supplies with the scan and cut. Now the projects I'm making here are perfect and headed off to a college dorm room. However, you could use these ideas in any kind of style and for any age of recipient. It really is a lot of fun. First up, I like to prepare my vinyl. Now it is available for separate purchase. You will also want to get some transfer material, which you'll see in action in a moment. You're going to want to cut the vinyl. What I like to do is I like to figure out about the size that I need, cut just a tiny bit extra and place it on my mat to prepare it. Once this is prepared, I'm ready to get my designs out. Now you have endless, limitless possibilities here. You can use the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter app to use any font that you may have in your computer to create word art. This is so easy. All you do is type the word in, save it. I like to save to a USB drive and then just insert into the Scan and Cut if you are not transferring wirelessly and get to work. It really is that easy. Now, once you are on the Scan and Cut, whether you are working with files you created in Canvas, text files from the type converter, as I mentioned just now, or if you're working with built-in designs or designs that you've purchased or created and scanned in and created files, no matter what, how you're getting these files, no matter where they're coming from, here's all you have to do. Select a file, resize it as you would like, add more files, as many or as few as you like. Just one tip though, I do like to really fill up on a vinyl piece so that I am maximizing that material so that I'm getting a lot of cuts from the one area. We can do flourishes, we can do words, we can do stars, we can even make stars within stars to create layered designs. There's so much creative possibility here. Once you have as many designs as you would like, I am working one color of vinyl at a time. If you wanted to put multiple colors, smaller pieces onto the sheet, you certainly could. I would recommend that you scan your mat at that point to make sure that everything is where you need it. Otherwise, if you know you have your vinyl in the correct area or you know that your designs will be covered, then guess what? We're ready to cut and we're ready to assemble. It really is that easy. The first step, once you have cut your material. And just as a note, around two is the cut depth that I use. However, you'll want to do a test cut to make sure that your material is being cut through. You want to cut through the vinyl, but not the backing paper. You're going to want to now weed this out. And this is why I said that for these kinds of projects that I really try to get a lot of designs in the space. This is so that when I weed around this, I'm not losing a lot of vinyl material. Now, one other option, once you've actually cut out, if you cut out on a larger piece, you could cut around your design rather closely with some scissors so that when you weed, you're only removing a very small amount. It will depend on your design and your preferences, of course. Once you have prepared your design, now is when that transfer paper that I talked about. Now I say paper, but it is a plastic sticky on one side, grid on the other, which is really nice because you can line things up nice and neat. This is also fantastic for larger pieces to make sure there are no bubbles and that the design of vinyl is getting placed really flat, smooth, even and there are no tears or warps or anything like that. It's also wonderful for those great intricate designs where there are many, many pieces that go in a certain order. For these, it ensures that you're going to pick them all up in the correct order and it will hold that. Now, if you get distracted, if something happens, you need to walk away, don't worry because on this transfer sheet and with the backing sheet, your design will stay safe and sound for as long as you need to. When you are ready though, go ahead and 
set that on to your project. Now, word of warning, move slowly. Make sure you're really happy with it before you actually place it down. Once you've placed your vinyl down on your material, odds are it's either not coming back up or if you do get it back up, it's not going to be reusable. So just take your time here and make sure you're happy with where it's going before you commit. From this point, we can replicate as many designs as we would like, whether it's simple words, whether it's shapes, flourishes, quotes, inspirational ideas, monograms, you name it. With the scan and cut, you can take basic, inexpensive office tools and supplies and customize any dorm room, any home office, anything that you like. This is so much fun. It can be done so simply and easily. And then you've got your own personal personality and touch on things, or you have wonderful gifts to share with someone else who will enjoy them. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the Scan and Cut website and the Scan and Cut YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed to that for even more videos, ideas, and fun. I'll see you next time. I wish you very happy crafting.